Hello, hello. Today we will make a cat. Well, it will make a blinking cat. We'll be making a GIF. In fact, I'm using P Paint Shop Pro, or Paint Shop Pro, doesn't matter which version, of course. What we need is about three or four images. First, I'll change uh, my background to some sort of color. I much prefer just an imitation of, a, of paper. Later on we'll switch it on and we'll have our images transparent so our GIF can be pasted on, say, colored by background and it still looks okay. Okay, I have 300 pixels by 300 pixels. That's a really, really tiny image. And if you see, see, it's, you, can, you can actually see pixels here. It's really zoomed in. Right, new layer. I don't want to scribble on the background. Okay, first the head of the cat. Of course it's a cat. What do you think it is? It should have bigger ears. Bigger ears. Cuter cat. Alright. Do I want to make eyes on the same layer? I don't think so. I will make the nose and the mouth. Uh, why? Because I will close the eyes in a moment. And nope, that's it. That's it. New layer. And this will be body. See, when when doing animation, you need to first know what moves, what doesn't. Yeah, haven't haven't thought it through, but these will be okay. Th these are these are hind legs. No, this is touching. This will be difficult to animate. Okay, as I'm in the head layer, I may just as well flood fill these. Increase tolerance to yeah. Let okay, I guess that'll have to do. Brightness. RG. You know what? There you go. Opacity. Match by opacity. Saving. First I make this layer invisible and I will save it as PNG. Okay, I will save it as PNG with just image one PNG. It doesn't matter what name I give it because it would be overridden when I, when I create the GIF anyway. Okay, so first is saved. Now what I'll do, I'll add a new layer on top and call it eyes closed. I'm drawing on top of the eyes, you know what? And to make make things easier for me, I will just change the transparency of the eye layer a bit so I can see what's underneath. Not that there's anything interesting there. But uh oh my pen is still very and I'm drawing in the wrong layer, see I'm still in the eyes layer. No, I'm in eyes closed, and my pen was supposed to be seven, I think. Okay. There you go, cut with eyes closed. Now I can unhook this. I just needed to be sure that I'm drawing in the same spot. These are these are the same eyes. Should I do something with the mouth, like? Uh, um, 
I'm wondering something like this no no I think that's good for now Image to PNG. And you know what? As this is super super simple tutorial, I'll leave it at that. Now what will happen is we're going to Gibby Gibby.com slash create slash gift maker. And I'll pretend like I s used this tool in the past, but I have not. Let's let's select one. Right. I need to create an account. I just choose our files. Add more images. Choose another image. Alright. Now what I will do is the cat sitting normally for a very long time and then all of a sudden blinking twice. So I need to loop these images into sequence of four. Alright, so this one. Quickly. I'll just add plenty of these. And that's it. Okay, we're good. Save the cat. How, how do I continue to decorate? Add info, tag sources, source URL, tags, public, and yeah, let, let it be public. Upload to Giphy. There, there you go. And I can copy link. Paste it in the... Am I happy with the cat? No, no, not really. I'm beginning to regret I didn't add the background. I didn't know they make, they'll make their own instead of transparent. Um, I wish there was a possibility to choose different frame lengths. Um, other than that, it's a brilliant animation, nicely drawn cut, well done. Okay, I hope this was useful in any way. There are way more ways to make animated GIFs, but the principle is the same. You have to have few frames and you need to add them in succession. That That's all there is to it. Okay, happy GIFing!